Welcome to this week's episode of The Clash Bash. We do have KO versus Vin Set. KO is actually going first. They're going to pay Smash Back Alehorn. This is a new card from Heavy Hit. This is fantastic. Create an agility and a mic token. This is a tremendous opener for turn one. I don't know that you could really ask for a better card than that. That's coming out. And then looks like KO's gonna arsenal and then pass. Let's see if Vincent actually has what they needed. Vincent, sculpting your first hand is the reason why you don't go first. Um, you go second, you really wanna try to sculpt your first hand, just like any class, but I feel like with Vincent, it gets even more uh, important in here. So banishing a deathly whale and then creating a rune chant token. So Vincent at the beginning of their turn has to banish a card every time. Um, Vincent's like to say they have 3.5 card hands because at the beginning of your turn, you're always getting rid of one and you're creating a rune chant from it. <laughs> we do have a uh, KO over there turning their, turning their boots into a hood. Uh, we did have, at the beginning, there was a null rune. Uh, there was a null rune mishap where there was a null rune. There wasn't a null rune hood in there. Uh, Greg had misplaced his null rune hood. So being the ultimate casual format, we're absolutely allowing him to bring in null rune boots and he's drawing it into a hood, which is fantastic. All right, coming in for Scepter of Pain, pinging him for one. Does Keho want to take it? Now, Scepter of Pain, when it hits, if it hits, then it's going to create a rune chant token. So it will uh, basically, basically, if you allow it to hit, you're essentially going to get two arcane out of that. He's definitely thinking this through and pitching one. Pitching a pulping to block it. That's actually really, really great. Um, read right there. So that's a perfect one to pitch. You want that later so you can have a bigger turn. But utilizing it because it doesn't have block, utilizing it to stop an arcane it is really, really great. Heads up play there by KO. All right. KO is getting a might and an agility token, and then coming in with a wild ride. It's a seven, go again. You do still have to do the wild ride ability, which is draw a card, randomly discard a card. Our players are actually gonna roll for it, which is awesome. Okay, and it is a red savage feast that is getting discarded. So it has seven with double go again, which doesn't do anything, but that's still great. And you do create a mic token from that. It is KO's ability does say the first time a six or more is discarded in a turn on your turn create a mic token so that is important for for next turn for sure all right full seven block with a reduced rune chant and another one can't quite see what it is that is seven blocking Now, Vincent does have the ability to play card out of their banish zone, so that over there is important. Okay, popping the boots to create an agility token, so we have a might and agility token that does turn on the raw hide. So Ko does know that there, I mean, there's attack coming next turn. Even if even if Vincent blocks with their full hand, there is an attack coming next turn. Okay, taking the full four. So now down to 15. Blood Debt did ping Vincent last turn. So now we lost four more, so we're down to 15. It's 20 to 15. 
we can expect a big turn though from Vincent here. Let's see what's in the arsenal. Okay, so we got three arcane and then Phantom Banshee comes in for seven. So we got three and then seven. We are hitting we're hitting a break point right there. This is exactly what Vincent wants to do. Vincent wants to come in and hit breakpoints, whether it's arcane or physical, you want to be hitting a breakpoint in one of those. Okay, I'm really thinking about this. You have a might, you have an agility, you have the ability to hit really hard. Oh, okay, Kyle was gonna take it, but Kyle's coming in, are gonna block Take the take the three arcane and then gonna block with the raw meat for two. That is a good good block. And the gauntlet gonna block with the gauntlet as well. So that's gonna block for three. Oh! And there's the pummel coming in for eleven. Oh my goodness. So took basically negated the rune chance essentially. Took three from the rune chance, then block three, and then pummel comes in. And they have to discard a card. Kyle wanted to keep their hand. Now they have to get rid of it. That right there is the power of Vincent. Why you try to keep back a card so you can put it in. Pummel is you're basically always trying to get Pummel into your arsenal to then smash out at opportune times like that. Okay, wanted to keep his hand and just getting in the extra damage and then that discard is huge. Smash back Elhorn, gonna create another one. That's crazy good. Okay, and we gotta go again on that. An assault and battery. With no beating chest. Ooh, no beating chest in there. Coming in for eight with go again. And does have a card, so you might see a ball breaker, but the ball breaker, well, yeah, the ball breaker would only come, be coming in for three. So how much are we going to block here? Oh, bring it in there. Blocking five. Vincent links their hand. Okay, going to 11. Arsenal and passing, okay. Ball breaker coming in for three, not hitting that four. It's not great. So yeah, the better play is absolute Arsenal and pass. Oh, there's a room blood incantation. Okay. Vincent really, really, really loves room blood incantation. So there must have been something preventing. Uh, but there's also. Okay, that's it. That's it. So if they had banished. Yeah, they're trying to set up for, for cycle two there, so be able to get the scepter. The runeblood incantation was just one. So they couldn't they couldn't do both, so you would have to arsenal and, and do that. So they're trying to put some pressure on there, either take a card from their hand or create a rune chant. So remember, a scepter there is representative of two damage. It's gonna ping you for one. If it hits, it will then create another rune chant. So there's something in the arsenal. What's what's there? Okay, looks like we're gonna have a big turn though. Pulping coming in. And Vincent at the end of every turn, Vincent has actually lost one life to a deathly whale. Okay, our players coming in. We're gonna roll for it. Yep, so one is starting right where he's pointing. So number three. 
right there. Banishing number three. Another Savage Feast, okay. So that's gonna come in for, it's coming in for seven. And it has Dominate. Which is, because it has Dominate, it is gonna get go again because the text does read if you don't block with two hands, two cards from your hand, then it will get go again. Dominate obviously makes it where you can only do one more. So blocking two, taking five. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ben says down at five. <laughs> Whoa. Dancing with dancing with death right there. Oh. A wild ride again at number six. And then we're going to roll again. What do we have? Well, I'm going to assume that both of them are hits. That That's just going to be our assumption. A red smash instinct. So, yep, another hit. Wild ride is going to get go again. So, it is going to come in. Look, at, there's enough there. Enough resources for a ball breaker right there. This is, a big, this is a big decision. I mean, this is lethal right here. This is absolutely lethal. I don't know if Vincent has a good crack back on it. Oh, okay. So Sigil of Suffering says it blocks for three. It's going to ping you for one arcane. If, if it hits, it'll then block for four. So this is going to come in for three or four. And he's going to have to choose between does he want to... Ko's going to have to choose of does he want to use the ball breaker or or uh, and not arsenal or what? If it hits, I mean, it's going to stop one damage and then you can come in with ball breaker for, for four. I, I don't know that there's a right decision in this. You're either taking one and they're going to prevent one or you're coming in for ball breaker. Okay, paying the one. Taking three damage, going down to two. Oh, okay. Going in for the ball breaker. Going to play the last card. Didn't have. Just decided that that was more important to bring in the four. This turn instead of trying to set up for a big next turn. This is a big deal though. I mean, you're blocking with what, two cards? You've got to block with at least one to go down to one, but you're probably blocking with more than that. Blocking with two here? This is a big, <laughs> this is a big decision. Vincent does have a lot of two blocks, so they're gonna have to get rid of a three in there in order to make a difference. Okay, blocking three, taking one. All right. <laughs> this game, Kayo turning it around. Kayo is just an absolute beast. Turning it around, got smashed in, and now Vincent absolutely has to play out that card. Vincent cannot take another blood debt. Okay, got, got three. Okay, Deathly Delight coming in. It's going to be three and six. So three Arcane first and then six block. Kale can do it. I mean, Kale can block all that. They have that in there, but you're looking at three cards. You're looking at three cards that you'd have to give up in order to prevent all this. You have eight life to mess with. So this is technically lethal. Okay. Blocking three. Discarding that Agile Windup and blocking that three. Okay, so now it's six. You could just take it. Kaya could just take it and come back with a crazy turn. Oh, they are. They're going to take six. Going to two. Now, Deathly Well says that when if damage was dealt, however many players lost life this turn, this combat chain, when it closes, you gain a life. So now that parody, they're at two, two. They're both at two. But it is in Kaya's. It's, it's in his arena now, essentially. They have three cards. They have three cards coming in here with a might, but there is, very importantly, there is no agility token. 
This is absolutely a turn that you wanted in the jelly token to close it out. Oh, Agile wind up doing the instant, discarding it, creating an agility token for next turn. When you do that, you're also creating a might token. So you do have a next turn ready up, but when, oh, just coming in for a ball breaker. I mean, ball breaker is still good. You have the might token, it's coming in for five. You have to have to block this. So there's a might, you discarded there. So that's four plus one from the might, that's five. This is two cards. You have to block with two cards. There isn't a choice in this for Vincent. Vincent has no rune chance, so they have to figure out how do we get rune chance out on the board. Finishing a mob, okay. They can't do, Vincent's not able to do anything this turn. Okay, coming in with a scepter of pain, threatening one right there. So you got that and you're threatening another one. You don't have anything in there. You're gonna have to, okay. Blocking with a red assault and battery. Pitching that, prevent one. So you did take a card, Vincent did take a card out of their hand. Might and agility. Oh my goodness. So this is going to be a big turn. Three cards is still nothing to scoff at. Plus an arsenal. Okay. We got a break that battery coming out. So we had to discard a random card here. Okay, rolling. It's that right there. It's a yellow reincarnate. Reincarnate reads. When it's discarded, you put it at the bottom of your deck. So it comes in here, it still triggers. Yep, so it triggers, reincarnate does trigger that mic. So even though it does go to the bottom of your deck, it's when it's discarded randomly, it goes to the bottom of your deck. Oh, blocking seven. Oh no, block six, taking one. And ball breaker. Four again. Okay, you got it takes four cards. You gotta take two cards here, right? Blocking five. Okay, so there was one damage. Didn't block correctly there. Vincent did not block correctly there. They could have blocked opposite. They overblocked in one. And then the next one they had to underblock because of that. So KO really coming in clutch here and forcing Vincent to block awkward. When I had to redraw back up. So Mike comes in, but there wasn't an agility this turn. So is it a wild ride or something? Okay, discarding a wild agile windup so to get the might and agility for the next turn. That's definitely key for sure. It's a lot, a lot of thinking right here. This is absolutely in game and it's 2-1. Smash Instinct going to intimidate for six. It's got, it's got the might on there, so it is six coming in, so it does require two. But there is no go again here. There was no jelly token, so ball breaker, you don't have to worry about a ball breaker. Okay, so they're rolling for the intimidation. What do we got? Okay. Intimidating, all right. Yep, players. Oh, moving to reactions. Oh, there's gonna overblock. Sigil of suffering. It's gonna ping him for one unless he blocks it. Here is Vincent trying to prevent. Vincent is coming in and preventing him from having an arsenal. So he's going to pitch one to prevent that one. So it is only six still. 
that is that is the turn. Vincent having two cards? Okay, going up to three and coming in with a deathly well. So three and six. Going to take his hand if he wants to do anything. That, that's going to stop him from, from doing it. Okay, so definitely coming in for the rawhide. He's looking at the looking at the rune chance though first. Got to block at least one of them. Okay, looks like pitching a blue to stop three. Okay, now a six. So definitely blocking with the rawhide. You have the, you have both of those. Mine as well. But a lot of, a lot of chaos stuff will block for two. So I, I don't know, like, why you want to block for the ride. I guess maybe just extra dance. I don't know. Okay, that's four. Blocking for a total of seven. Oh, and the pummel coming in clutch. Pummel coming in clutch again. Oh my goodness. Right there. That is, that is how it would have been set. That's how you want to finish it off. Such a close game down to the wire. We love to see it. Ugh. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Check out our Vincet deck tech from earlier this week. Look at the link right here and we will see you next time.